What is a finish? It's the outer covering of a panel that is fused to the core material. The finish used in this kitchen, for instance, is laminate. A finish has two main roles. It gives the panel its aesthetic appeal and it protects the inner core material. A simple example would be clothing. Yeah. Imagine my body is the core material. I can put on a leather jacket or a raincoat or a snow jacket or a formal jacket or a Hawaiian shirt. I've effectively changed the finish that is covering my core material. The only issue with that example is that I can't change the composition of my body. But while choosing a finish, you can choose the core material based on the finish that you want. Give me a sec. No one's gonna take me seriously in this shirt. One sec. Ah. Before we proceed, let's clear up what a core material is. The core material is the inner structural material that a panel is made of. It is the equivalent of bricks inside a wall or muscle inside your body. The core materials we use are MDF, HDF, HMR, plywood and particle board. We've gone into a lot of detail about these materials in our other videos. So go through our website or our YouTube channel to know more about them. For now, let's get down to comparing finishes. Again, we offer four types. Laminate, membrane, acrylic, and PU. Laminate is the most commonly used finish. It is available in a variety of colors, wood grains, and patterns. You can also choose from the following finish types. Glossy, textured, or matte. Acrylic is unique because it has a premium mirror-like reflective finish and is available in a host of solid colors. Ah. Now membrane is available in a textured, glossy and matte finish. Like laminate, it also comes in a wide choice of colors and patterns, but the benefit of membrane when compared to laminate and acrylic is that it can be fused onto a panel that has routing or grooves, making it perfect for classic designs. Now PU is also unique, being the only finish that is painted onto the core material. It is a premium finish that has a spectacular look to it. Being paint, it is only available in solid colors, but similar to membrane, it can be applied to panels with grooves or detailing work on them. Now, besides these four finishes, your shutters can be made with glass, like those. Tempered glass is mounted to aluminum profiles to create shutters. This glass is available in varying types, frosted, brown tinted, plain or lacquer. Lacquered glass is specifically made by coating one side of the glass with a colored lacquer that acts as a decorative base. This way, you have a wide range of colors to choose from. Laminate is the only finish that can be used with all core materials. Acrylic, membrane and PU work best with MDF and HDF HMR as these are core materials that are smooth and lightweight. Okay, but how do I choose between them? Well, your budget does determine this decision to a large extent. I'm going to use matte laminate, which is the cheapest finish, as the baseline to give you an idea of comparative costs. So, glossy and textured laminates cost 20% more than matte laminates. Membrane also costs 20% more. Acrylic is 40% more expensive than matte laminates and PU is 60% more expensive. Glass shutters are the most expensive of the lot, costing almost twice as much as matte laminate. So this is more or less a factor that your wallet gets to decide. If you have kids or pets, 
it's best not to pick expensive finishes. Laminates and membranes are ideal. They are easy to clean and membrane in particular has the ability to have rounded edges which is perfect for the safety of your kids. If money is not a concern and it comes down to just pure aesthetics, acrylic, PU and glass are all amazing in contemporary themed interiors. PU and glass can also be used in a more classic theme. However, if you are budget conscious, laminates and membrane are your go-to finishes and membrane can be used on classic themed interiors too. Look, at the end of the day, it has to feel right to you in all aspects, aesthetic, practical and financial. Our designers will guide you through this process, but it's best to let your gut guide you. And remember, 